Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to take a look at what it's like to fly a Halo Pelican into space on Microsoft Flight Simulator, the newest version of Flight Simulator, which recently, just a couple weeks ago, got a new DLC in the form of a Halo Infinite Pelican. And as you might have seen in a couple of previous videos I've done, it's a very highly detailed Pelican, and it flies very well. And it's packed full of features. It's got a whole interior. You can visit like the back and everything. It's it's just a, it's a really cool pelican. However, there is one unfortunate downside to the Halo Infinite pelican in Flight Simulator. So in the trailer, when they showed it off, they showed it flying into space. But as people have quickly noticed, you can't actually fly into space. It's a uh, it just doesn't work. Its altitude kind of maxes out around like depending on how you fly, like 50 to 60,000 feet, which is nowhere near the height limit in uh, Flight Simulator. The height limit is around 275,000 feet. So the Pelican cannot fly anywhere near space in this game, despite seeing it do that in a trailer. So how do we get into space anyways with the Pelican? Uh, in fact, how, how did Microsoft or uh, the team behind 3... Um, Flight Simulator get the Pelican into space as well. Well, I would say most likely, and in this in the case of this video, the easiest way to do it is just to use the slew mode in Flight Simulator, which just lets you, it's almost like a cheat code or cheat mode, lets you just pick where you want to move your aircraft to. Uh, and in this case, you could move it all the way up into space. And we're just going to move it all over to 275,000 feet, and then once we're up there, we're going to see how the Halo Pelican actually performs in space in Flight Simulator, because we don't get to see that very often. Now, my first video covering the Pelican, I did briefly show just go into space, I think, by using slow mode, but I didn't really show you what it's like to fly it in space uh, after you put, getting out of slow mode. So, now that we're actually in space and I turned off slow mode, you can see the Pelican is starting to take a nosedive. That is not me pushing it down. That is, that is just what happens. It, it just starts dropping, and it, it just can't, it can't fly in cruise mode anymore. It, it just, it just starts gliding down or plummeting down back to Earth. And the, the same thing happens with pretty much any aircraft you bring to space. In some previous videos, I've tried like a, I tried it with like a Boeing 747. I, I put use slew mode to move the 747 all the way into space. And I turn it off, the plane just just starts plummeting. At best, I could kind of control the plummet to more like a glide at like supersonic speeds, which is where we're at now. Actually, it, it's a funny thing because like you probably can't hear because I'm talking over it right now over the audio, or it m might be a little bit muted. But even though we're in space now, uh, you can still hear like a sonic boom on the <laughs> on the uh, Pelican when it was when it was it's at uh, supersonic speeds. Which uh, I'm pretty sure at this altitude, like th this is technically like not like this is not considered low Earth orbit yet. But I'm pretty sure we're at the point in space where you shouldn't be able to hear a sonic boom. But I could be wrong about that. M maybe the atmosphere is still still enough atmosphere at this at this altitude. But anyways, so as you've seen, we can't we can't control the Pelican while in cruise mode, uh, as in like we can't we can't keep it you know. In space, it will just start plummeting down. But when I switch it to hover mode, it uh it immediately drops the speed down from like Mach three all the, or Mach four all the way down to like zero in like the span of a few seconds, uh, which I think to be like really high negative G's if it did that. So that's probably like not very realistic either. But yeah, it's uh once in hover mode, it actually with full engine power, it does seem to. It's really hard to tell if it's just falling super slowly, or if it's actually hovering. I think it might be the latter, uh, I mean the former, where it's actually just falling at a very slow rate in hover mode. But at least in hover mode, you can pretty much keep the Pelican in space for quite a while, and you can kind of move around a little bit. But it, if you want to fly forward or backwards, or side to side in hover mode, it's going to be very, very slow. So that's the trade-off. If you just want to like hover in space and just look around, then you can use hover mode. But if you switch to cruise mode again, then you will start plummeting down back to Earth. So unfortunately, 
and unrealistically, I guess, compared to the actual Halo Pelican, is that in Flight Simulator, the Halo Pelican really is not meant for space flight, even though it's supposed to be, according to Halo lore. But in Flight Simulator, it's not only can it not fly to space normally, but if you move it into space anyways, you can't really control it that well, and it doesn't really fly around in space that well either. So, yeah, there you guys have it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you think me, check it out looking to. Just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.